Hi you guys! This is Black and Blue and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into today's unstuffing video. Let's go. This is Black and Blue, go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So, <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. <laughs> I'm so excited. We've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. And some of you in my comment section have been waiting for this. So I'm super excited to go ahead and get into unstuffing this savings challenge. The way I did the savings challenge is a bit different. I've done this challenge multiple times, not this specific one, but the 100 envelope challenge in general. And this time I did it different. Instead of stuffing just the number that's on the cover, so for example, 43, instead of putting $43 in here, I stuffed this where I added the two numbers and then stuffed that amount. So four plus three is seven and I stuffed this envelope with $7. So I'm super excited to see what this adds up to because when I decided to do this challenge, I didn't see anybody else doing it. I was just like, you know what? Let me change it up a little bit and stuff it a little different because I've, I've stuffed this multiple times and I wanted to keep it fun, but also find a way to do it that wasn't so strenuous and time consuming, or not time consuming, but what took a long time, where this challenge may have taken me a year to do or six months or whatever, I really brought it in. And because this challenge is so beautiful, I wanted to show a way that we could all do this challenge. If you've tried before and it you weren't successful or it took so long that you're like, I'm never doing that again, <laughs> this is a way to stuff it. And we're just gonna see how much it adds up to because I have no idea. I'm not sure what the amount is and I could have added it up, but I didn't want to. I wanted to go ahead and find out how much was in this savings challenge doing it this way once we unstuffed it and added it all up. So I'm super excited to get into unstuffing this. I haven't uns I feel like I haven't unstuffed one of these challenges in a long time, but I'm so ready. I am so ready. I'm so excited. And this challenge is so beautiful. I know that I know that there are a lot of people that are wanting this challenge. And I don't blame you. <laughs> I do not blame you. Uh, so let's go ahead and get in stuffing. I am probably going to fast forward some of it. But I do want to chat just a little bit. So we'll do a little chatting. We'll do a little unstuffing. I'm just going to put this challenge right here and we will get started i love how these envelopes and how beautiful they are oh this is a crispy bill i love how these envelopes look i actually just i've I used to be in the planning with stickers community very heavy and that was in 2016, 2017 and at that time these cloud bumps became really popular in the planning community and so while doing my budgeting thing I was like you know what I would love to see that those cloud bumps that I just absolutely love on envelopes and so I'm super excited that I was able to find a manufacturer to make them for me. It wasn't an easy design for them to make without many, many issues. So I definitely was harsh on the manufacturer with the quality. And for that, they had a problem with me <laughs> because I was so picky, they kept saying. And all I really wanted them to do was their job. And that's to check through and make sure they're sending me quality product and not just saying, hey, well, our machines did this, so deal with it. No, because because they sent me a lot of product that was damaged in the making process, and you could tell. So they had an issue, and they said that they wouldn't make them anymore. And I was just kind of like, what? But I, love, I loved that I had this idea. They came out beautiful. I love these. There's no one else selling envelopes like this. This right here is a custom design that I requested. We worked out measurements for the cloud bumps and for the envelope. And, and they wanted to put a, what is it called? A perforation, kind of like right here. 
they wanted to put that same print right here and i'm like no it does not need it for this challenge so there's no one else that sells these i've not seen them online i've not seen this exact style anywhere else with no holes and my challenge i just i love it so much and when i sold out of them a lot of people kept asking in my shorts I actually stopped recording shorts doing this challenge because so many people were asking about it and I can't, I couldn't get them made. See, how cool is that? This envelope says 10 on it, but you only stuff $1 because one plus zero is one. So this challenge was, this was really, really fun to do it this way. Now, back to what I was saying. <laughs> so I didn't, really enjoy showing this challenge once I sold out because it was kind of hard telling people they'd say I get comments that said okay well if you're not selling them anymore where can I get them and I'm thinking nowhere there is nowhere to get them and I kind of felt bad because it's such a gorgeous challenge that people just couldn't get anymore from my shop and I've been working with the manufacturer that said that they would never make them again and you guys <laughs> they finally agreed to make them again for me they finally agreed I am in shock I've been talking to them I've been kind of uh, I don't want to say cutting corners but basically I've been giving them leeway because there was no other way for them to make them like for them to agree to make them for me I was I went back and forth with them and they just weren't budging they were saying that there's no way they're making them again they lost money making them the first time and that's not my fault <laughs> but they lost money and these bills are nice oh my god I'm so excited and I'm like okay so technically I can t I know they lost money doing this because there are so many ones that they had to refund me for that were unsellable and basically their job should be to check through every single envelope but apparently to them that's doing too much so when they when they have them packaged they don't go through them they don't go through all of them they just send them out and i basically said okay if some of the envelopes come damaged i will not request request a refund because that was their biggest worry was just losing out more money and they said that their machines they attempt to cut these but they have a hard time cutting them all nicely the machine will do its own thing sometimes and I'm like okay all right so I'm agreeing basically to basically if I get crap ones I'm just gonna have to toss them and it's kind of a waste of money for me but I am just way too excited to be for them to remake these for me that I'm I will take the collateral damage to be able to get them out to you guys because so many people wanted these and they're so gorgeous I can see why it's they're beautiful they are absolutely beautiful and you can stuff a lot of money in here and I have not had any of my sides pop open or anything like that I know that laminated envelopes which are absolutely gorgeous i have gone through so many different envelopes custom envelopes uh laminated envelopes and i love them they're gorgeous they're beautiful the quality the time everything that goes into them is just mwah, chef's kiss <laughs> i just have a thing where i love playing with my envelopes so much that when it comes to laminate envelopes i do split the sides and it's not that the quality is bad at all the quality is great of laminated envelopes especially depending on what small business you buy them from the quality is great it's just i play with them so much that i split the sides and i love playing with my envelopes and stuffing them and unstuffing them I just love it so much. <laughs> I'm addicted. And that's how I really actually started my budgeting, my whole budgeting channel and love for it is, and saving is playing with money. That's what really launched me into doing what I do and getting to where I am with my savings is the want of playing with my money. <laughs> oh my goodness. When I was 
deployed in 2015, 2016. I was deployed to Cuba and while I was there, we're on an island of course, and I decided while I was there that every time I got paid, I was going to take the money out in cash and save it because it was easier for me to save that way where I couldn't go online spending and stuff like that. So I did that and where should I put these? I'm actually running out of space. Let me grab my cash tray. Maybe they will go in here. Do they fit in here? They do. So I was taking my money out and at one point my mom, I talked to my mom, she was like, um, is that safe? Like you just have thousands of dollars in your room. I'm like, well now I'm nervous. Now that she asked me that I'm nervous now. And so that looks really pretty. So then I got nervous and I was like, okay, wait, maybe I should put this money back in the bank. But before I did, I was having a blast playing with it. I was having a blast. <laughs> It was a good time and I saved so much money. It was amazing. I, sh I really, I have been wanting to do a video on mistakes that I've made with money since I started my journey of saving because I've made some mistakes that I, that I wish I could take back. <laughs> Don't we all? But there's some mistakes that you wouldn't even think about. Like for example, and maybe you would think about it, but for example, I was in my savings journey and there's a, see, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to make a video or not, so I'm not going to say the one thing, but this thing, for example, is lending someone, a friend money in a large amount of money. I lent someone $20,000 and it took them about, I want to say maybe a year or a year and a half for them to pay me back, something like that. And they paid me back over that period of time. But the amount of time that I could have had the $20,000 in my high yield savings account, I lost a lot of interest that I could have made by lending somebody money. Now, when you lend somebody money, there should be an agreement. Like, you will owe me this much when you pay it back to me because you're not a bank but you're losing money that you could be making if you didn't lend that person money you know you guys know what i mean so i lent somebody twenty thousand. i don't regret it because it really helped them a lot a lot it honestly saved them them being able to use that twenty thousand saved them a lifetime of money which is crazy. So I'm happy that I made that decision to let this person borrow money. And it's kind of funny because they don't even know that they borrowed it from me. <laughs> they don't even know they borrowed the money from me. They don't, they don't know that it came from me. And I'm basically an anonymous giver. I'm an, I'm an anonymous helper. Now I say that's a mistake that I made with money because I lost out on interest. And sometimes that kind of haunts me a little bit just because I don't know. I, I help people and you help people without trying to get anything in return, but it doesn't stop you from thinking about what you could have gotten in return. And that's just a money mistake that I don't want to make again. <laughs> I do not want to make that mistake again. I will say I let somebody else use money and that person, I will never do that again. This, it wasn't as much money However, I let them borrow money with them promising to pay it back within a couple of months. They did not. It took them over a year, over a year, and I made an agreement with them to pay me. If they don't pay me by the certain time that they said, $100 will be added on every week. And that is, that's crazy. However, I wanted them to pay me back and I wanted them to make me a priority and they didn't. So that was really annoying to me. Because you give and you try to help people and they just put you on the back burner like, yeah, I'll pay her back whenever I pay her back. Or, well, for me, I had to keep messaging this person, which took me out of my comfort zone and I don't like that. If I have to, if I let someone borrow money and then I got to come and chase them down. Look, this talk didn't turned into something I wasn't expecting. 
<laughs> I'm starting to get my, I'm basically venting almost, but I ended up getting what I paid to them back, I think. We'll say I think. Whatever. But they were supposed to give me the amount that we agreed on and they did not and they think they're okay with just giving me basically almost what they paid me back so that's really annoying that's really annoying but i'm not hounding them or being like hey you we agreed on this because god doesn't like ugly and they know what they agreed to and that's just me being nice and letting people borrow money that just, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't. Some people ruin it for everybody else. But honestly, if you're working on your journey, letting others borrow money is something that you can do because you have the money. But it will definitely not set you back, but you could have been further if you never let them borrow the money unless you are better at having them pay you interest or unless you're borrow like borrowing to someone that realizes the sacrifice you're making by letting them borrow money so you know what and i'm gonna totally put this talk somewhere either in the title or somewhere because i've been wanting to talk about that kind of thing i just haven't had the video to do it and right now since I'm unstuffing these, I literally could talk about whatever I want because this money is, first off, these bills are really nice. Not all of them, but there's a lot of nice bills in here. But I'm able to talk because I'm just unstuffing, which is so much fun. I don't have to actually count right now, so. Yes. I actually took my daughter to the mall today with her friend she met her friend at the mall and she had so much fun i'm teaching my daughter about money and everything and so she's got her first credit card and i'm trying so hard so desperately to teach her how to use credit cards the right way so that when she gets older that she doesn't make the mistake that i've made <laughs> getting my first credit card and having no idea about paying it back and how to do that i had no idea and it kind of that set my credit back that set my everything back because i was in fear of not being able to pay this money back while i was in college it was crazy i went to college at 17 and I, as soon as I turned 18, I got a credit card and I just didn't know what I was doing. And the 100 envelope has literally $1 because one plus zero plus zero is a one. So cool. That's the last one. All right. Let's put this back. Back to these envelopes. I will be doing a pre-order for these envelopes. Now that I know that they're agreeing to make them for me, I will need to get samples so I can see that they are cutting them correctly and everything like that. But I want to do a pre-order and it'll help me get an idea of how many people actually want this challenge. I am looking for different boxes because these boxes, I actually really like them. They're magnetic right here. However, when I ship them, like they're sturdy and everything. But for some reason, these envelopes, because of the weight of them, they ship. And if they move around, they can pop the corners. And when people get them, it's either like they have a busted box and then I will have to replace the box and I've done many many box replacements the thing is I didn't charge for this box because this box is inexpensive the price that these envelopes that this box and envelopes were at were only the price in, is in wait the price was only for the envelopes so nobody was paying for the boxes I paid for the boxes, you guys paid for the envelopes. I just added the box in there, but with how many boxes I had to replace, it was costly because I had to ship, pay for shipping again and another box. So I'm not doing this box again. <laughs> I, I wasted a lot of money having to do that. So I am going to go ahead and figure out a way to do a prettier box 
Now the box might have to go into the price because boxes, I love the acrylic boxes. There's many, many box choices, but they are not cheap. So that box was inexpensive. I loved it, but we have to find a new box <laughs> because I don't think anybody wants to buy just the envelopes with no box. People like getting the whole thing and I can understand that. So I will be looking for a new box, but... I do want to do a pre-order so make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys stay tuned because i will be announcing when i'm going to do that pre-order on youtube as well as instagram so make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys follow me my instagram is a place where i can update daily easily on my stories so if you're not following me on instagram go follow me it's at black and blue 10 underscore four that's my Instagram. But you guys can go follow me over there and you guys will get faster notifications over there. It's just the way it is. I have to do a whole video, sit down and set up and everything when it comes to YouTube. But for Instagram, I can literally just turn on the camera while I'm sitting here working on orders and stuff and throw up a, an, like information very quickly. I'm gonna turn this at angle. I need fingertip moistener right now, and I'm actually going to pause to go get it. Hopefully I cut this part out, but I usually forget, but it's okay. I'm going to go with some fingertip moistener. Okay, so I am actually almost caught up on orders. I know a lot of people were interested in my essentials bag, and these are going to come back in stock. I still have some on my shelf. I'm not going to be putting a whole bunch in stock because I do get these from a manufacturer overseas, and I have some sitting over here but not a whole bunch. So these will go back in stock. So also make sure you're subscribed and on my Instagram because when these go back in stock, I'll announce it. And I'm just excited that I'm almost caught up on orders. I am so excited. Right now I have 25 orders left and I've actually been sitting at the 20, no, the 130 range because I had about 130 orders. And when I would finish one order, I'd get two orders. And it was so cool. And I would stick around the same number of orders. And it looked like I wasn't <laughs> doing anything because I would just get orders to replace the ones that I finished. And it was pretty cool. So I have a lot of items marked sold out right now on my shop. I love these dice. If you guys ever want dice with colored stones, I there's just so many colors that I could put on them that I don't have them listed on my shop with color but if you guys send me a note and say can I have like if you order the white dice or the black dice you can say can I have red stones can I have blue stones just ask me and I will try to put that color stone if you ask for a color that I don't have put a backup color in there or if they'll come with the normal clear AB which looks like this this is the color you see on my website on the dice which is beautiful so color is good crystal ab is good just you guys can always let me know what color because i do do a lot of custom stuff my, my scratch off tool i just love looking at my crystal stuff okay let me put this away i really need a fingertip moistener and i'm glad i got it so let's get back to this i don't remember what i was talking about <laughs> but the envelopes, the challenge. I am so excited. I I was, you guys should have seen me. I was absolutely ecstatic, ecstatic that the challenge is coming back. Oh my goodness. Twenty five orders to go. As soon as I'm done with recording, I'm going to go ahead and start working on orders again. And oh my gosh, there's so many things. So not, not things, but there's so many pen designs that I've been wanting to do. And it's kind of hard to do when I'm working on orders because then I don't want to make pens a priority unless they're an order. So I've been, ooh, I've been kind of getting some ideas on what I'm going to be coming out with. I will be doing a spring mystery pen. A lot of people love the mystery pens where they don't know what they're going to get. They're nerve wracking for me because I want everyone to love them. But you just don't know. People are purchasing 
you guys are purchasing pens without realizing what the design's gonna be and it makes me so nervous to see if you guys are gonna like it or not. I know that the Valentine's Day mystery pen, a lot of people really like that design. I sure did and a lot of people loved it. So I, it always gives me boost of courage to do it again when I hear the outcome of what people think about the mystery pen. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see how much it's gonna add up to. But I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing a spring mystery pen. I have a couple of collections. I have a couple of different colored items. I have the, if you guys have seen this calculator I have in my shop. I love this calculator. You guys can always tell me if you want a different color around the on button. But this is so beautiful. And I have a pink calculator just like this one. And a green one that will be coming out in my shop. I've had them, I just haven't had the chance to bling them to take pictures for my website. So I'm excited to get those done. There's so much I wanna do. I won't tell you guys everything, but just make sure you guys are subscribed <laughs> and following me on Instagram so you guys can see the new items that I'm gonna be coming out with, designs and everything. So excited. I was actually thinking about doing a spring mystery box that will come with a pen and a couple of other things that some things you guys haven't seen in my shop yet that I want in my shop. But I don't know. I was thinking about doing a mystery box. I think it would be just so fun. I'm a girl that loves mysteries. So there's a lot of ones. Oh my goodness. All right. So when I finish my savings challenges, I unstuff them and then I put them in my long-term savings binder and that's where I hold my categories that I'm saving for long-term, not the short-term. <laughs> so that looks like this. We're gonna count this. And there's nothing over a twenty bill, twenty dollar bill in here, which I think is cool. Okay, so this is my long term binder. This is a binder that I created and designed for my website or for my um for my website, I guess <laughs> for my budget. So this is an A5 binder. I do have the A6s as well, but this is an A5 one. It has my logo on here, dripped by E is my small business name. And then I've got this cute little keychain. I do have these keychains in my shop. I love these. They're so freaking cute. And then I have this bookmark by budgets by Kia or Kia budgets. And I had, I asked her to put this quote on these and she put them on her website and it says it's not about how much you make it's what you do with it i just love that quote so much because it's true <laughs> it's absolutely true so my long-term categories are emergency savings college that's for my daughter back to school for my daughter medical i actually plan on getting her uh braces again she's already had them when she was really young so she wants them again and so we're going to do braces again, so I need to save for that. And then home, home renovations, and anything home. Holidays, Amante, which is my fiancé. I love saying that. And then Cookie, my dog, our dog. And then vacation. And vacation, honestly. Five, six, seven, eight hundred and five dollars. Eight hundred and five. I just wanted to know how much was in there real quick. So I have what you see in here in the front. There's real money in these, but there's also placeholders, which signifies how much is in my high yield savings account that I was able to transfer from here into there. But this is showing me how much is allotted per category because I have a high yield savings account that I put this money into, but 
there's no buckets. I don't like, I don't want buckets. I like to see one large number and that motivates me to keep going. So I have one account that I put my sinking funds into. Let's get counting. All right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 500. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 600. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, we have a lot of singles. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Uh, let's see. We need 40 more. 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 800. No, 700. I'm breaking these into hundreds because then it'll be easier for me without using my calculator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700. Okay, we have 700. Now I need to see how many singles we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. These bills are so nice. I can't hold that many at a time. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Okay, I'm going to put it here. So we have 50 right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. All right, that's another 100. Is this challenge going to get to 1,000? Because right now we're at 800. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800. 800? Okay, we're not going to get to 1,000. <laughs> There's no way. Okay. Okay, let's see how much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Oh my god, are we gonna get to 900? Okay, 50. We need another 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. My hand's actually tired. <gasps> oh my gosh, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Oh my gosh! $901? 99 away from 1,000. So doing the 100 envelope challenge that way, where you add the numbers on the envelopes, saves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 901 dollars. Okay! 
that's actually amazing that's almost a thousand and the way we stuffed it was so much fun it's almost a almost a fifth of what that challenge is when you save it in the end because if you do the 100 vote challenge saving all of the numbers the way they're intended what number is on the cover or on the front of the challenge then you save five thousand and fifty dollars but this is saving 901 okay i actually am happy with that amount that was fun my hands are tired now from counting that was awesome i didn't take into account how many singles there were going to be in this because I do need to stuff. You know what? We're going to do this a very unconventional way. <laughs> a way that I haven't really done before in this magnitude. Okay, so in our sinking funds, in our emergency, I'm going to have to do a bill exchange after this. I just know it. I think I just did one. Okay, so in this envelope, let's see if this is accurate. 20, 21, 22,000, 5, 6, 7, 800, 50, 70. Okay, so this is pretty much accurate. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff these. Oh, I don't even know how. Like, look at all these singles. I should really switch, swap these out. But it'll make my next bill exchange more interesting. So I'm going to leave them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We'll add 100. Let's see. I'm not going to do accounting today. I'm also going to add singles in all of them. I'm not going to do the counting in this video. I'm going to save that for the bill exchange for each of these envelopes, but we'll see in this video. We're just going to see how much I'm adding for the most part, minus the singles, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 in savings with some singles. I love stuffing envelopes, whether it's, and this is why I love my sinking funds binder to be an A5. And I started using an A5 when no one else was. And I just, I just think it's so cool when I start doing something and then a lot of other people do it. I just think I'm like an awesome trendsetter, but <laughs> so my sinking funds is an A5 binder and it's helpful because I can put a lot of bills in it. Like these, these envelopes are bigger than the A6, of course, but it's necessary for long-term savings. So I absolutely love, love, love the A5. All right. And this is our college. This is my daughter's college. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And some singles. <laughs> the singles is just hilarious to me. How I'm just throwing a whopping set of singles in here. Don't even know how much it's adding up to. Back to school for my daughter. Her back to school is pretty good. I do need to take out a hundred, even a flat 100. I don't know how much, if they're gonna charge us for her iPad cover because I think she literally like drew on it or carved into it. Like she's an artist and she just, I'm like, not the, not the school property girlfriend, not school property. So they're probably gonna charge me for that. But at this point, I don't know yet. So for her cap and gown, cause she's an eighth grader, I need to pay a hundred dollars, um, 60 for the cap and gown, 40 for her trip to six flags. All the girls are taking or girls, all of the, her classmates are taking. So that's going to be fun for her. I'm excited that she gets to do that. So I will be taking 100 out of here. Okay. All right, medical, which I just feel like I need a lot in here. So I'm definitely trying to beef this up envelope up 5 10 15 at 25 35 45 55 65 75 85 95 100 
I haven't, I haven't said it in a while, but I know I count my fives different than a lot of people do. And I've been doing it like that since I started. And some people think that it's so weird, but it's actually fun counting the way I do with my fives. It's faster and just don't knock it till you try it. Okay. This is our home envelope where I eventually plan on doing renovations. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 40, 5, 50. And we'll do some singles. And then holidays. Oh my god, I feel like Christmas is going to be here before I know it. I do plan on doing Christmas in July with my shop, so I'm super excited. I want to do the ornaments like I did during Christmas last year, the ornaments and all of that. I'm just so excited. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I love Christmas so much. Amante. So Amante is my fiance, and I actually fill his... I fill his envelope when I do my cash stuffings. So this envelope is in here. However, it's a cash stuffing envelope, not a envelope that I fill with my savings challenges. But still, I love him so much. I don't want him to feel bad. So I'm going to put 10 in here. <laughs> I don't want him to feel bad. So I'm going to add that in there. That's my babe. Okay, Cookie is our dog and he's sitting at fully funded a 1k and i'm gonna leave him at 1k because i'm hoping he doesn't need more than that for anything <laughs> whether it's dental or his vet visit whatever it is now we're on vacation which i had to take from because we were sitting at 1600 and now we're at 812 five six seven eight i did take a couple from here so we're at actually at 805 so let's go ahead and add whatever's left 10 20 30 40 50 65 75 85 95 100 5 10 15 25 35 40 and then the rest of the singles 140 and some singles and that's our vacation envelope and it's spring break right now and my daughter doesn't really care to go anywhere she's just having fun here with her friends from school which i think is so cool and i need to do a bill exchange look at this i'm doing one next i'm going to do one next week i am not even going to attempt to close this look at that oh my god <laughs> i love it but i'm okay with this because i love doing bill exchanges and not just that but i love taking the money from here and putting it into my high yield it's so much fun. Look, there's so many new bills in there. When you're counting new bills, it's not really dirty. It's the ink coming from the new bills. So I have ink all over my hands. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, though. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Bye.